service, but a woman got in the way with an issue for 12 years, remember? She got it first. You want it first, you got to move closer. Come on, move a little closer to the realms of glory. Move a little closer unto God. Whoa, I feel that all the way up to my knees. So we got knee-deep water in here this morning. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Move a little closer to the realms of glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And listen, there's going to be a sound of fire on your voice. I'm not, I'm not just listening. I'm just not speaking words here. I'm telling you, God is going to show the world who belongs to Him. Amen. Amen. And they're going to be a people that are full. We're not talking about energy here. Don't take away from God, but belongs to Him. Full of His presence. Full of His Spirit. Come on. Full of His Spirit. Full of His presence. I hear people, do you feel the energy? What energy? The lights are on. Come on. Well, let's identify with the Lord with the right language here. Yeah. Glory to God. He said, get back to the old paths. How many of you read what that, that scripture? Get back into the old paths. Where is the glory of God? He said, did you know the scripture says, you've got to get this. Few find that glory path. How many of you did not know that? Put your hand if you didn't know it. He said, few find that glory path. He said, straight is that way and narrow is that gate. And few find it where God is moving on. But once you tap into it, let me tell you, there's never another a dull moment. There's no dull cookie. Come on. Everything is exciting because God, you know, God is working. So God wants to cause us to be full of his presence. But it will only come by declaring who he is. You got to declare he's Lord. He's first and last. When it says Alpha and Omega, that means he's everything. You got it right there. A to Z. He's everything. And so you declare he's everything. And don't be ashamed. Listen, I get into a lot of foolishness sometimes. But God said he takes the foolishness to confound the wise. He said, what are you talking about, Ruth? I get in the store sometimes and I feel the rhythms of heaven. So I just start moving to it. You say, well, why are you doing that? Because I know I'm working with God. I'm moving with God. I'm coming into the timing of God. There's a timing in your song. There's a timing in your dance. There's a timing in your clap. And you'll know it sometimes because you'll be in a service and you feel like you're jerked over here and you're jerked over there. And then you feel like, boy, what just happened? No, you get into those rhythms where God is bringing down from heaven in revelation all that you need because you've given him the dance and the song that he wants. you got to catch this in the spirit or you won't catch it. God is looking for people that know how to praise him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know who wins the ball game at the ballpark? The one that shouts the loudest. You know the wheel that gets oiled? The one that squeaks the most and shouts the loudest and gets oiled. And if you keep on pulling on the Lord, come on, Lord, I want to see this morning. Anoint my eyes to see. I want to see what your spirit is doing in this state that's going out to other states. you got to get this. Yeah, I know you've got it, Mary Ann. But I know this. The Lord spoke this to me six weeks ago. That Arizona is going to water the whole United States. Wow. Arizona. Now, what am I saying to you? I'm talking about the prayers of the righteous. The wow. prayers of the righteous. In this state. Availeth much. Yes, that's what it says. Much. And he that comes to God must believe that he is. And he is a rewarder of those that are diligent about his business. Amen. Yes. yes. And nobody said it's right. Hallelujah. That means me. Yes. That means yes. me. Yes. Woo! Yes. Woo! Get Woo! your faith working. Yes. <laughs> and if you got a fire inside of you, it's going to sound like it. <laughs> That's why I go, woo! It's burning. God is burning. God wants to burn. He wants his spirit of burning inside of us. Burning, burning, yeah. Yeah. burning for him. But what he's going to do, and you got to tell the Lord like the train. You remember the train? I think I can. I think I can. But my song is, I know you're going to do it. I know you're going to do it. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. We go to church, and we hear other people sing the songs, and they put them up on the, whatever, on the wall. Get a new song in your heart. 
I'm not being yeah. bad here. I'm yeah. being had by the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> God wants to put something in us that's going to release the heavens. Amen. Amen. You understand? It's going to release yeah. the heavens. He sent the singers and the dancers before. We've heard, we heard all the time before the warriors. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So I dance in my house all the time. So do I. Mm -hmm. I had an old wash machine. You know, we kind of had sound in it. I'd move to the sound of that washing machine. Because I felt the rhythms of the Lord. You may think I'm a little strange. But you know what the Lord told me? He said, I'm going to cause you to shake nations. And I wondered how he's going to do it. Amen. Well, just wow. let him get inside of you like he did Jonah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the whole nation would have been when they saw him coming. Yes, you get God inside of you 100%, honey. I'm not saying you don't, but I, I'm saying you let a praise be in your mouth. Let a joy be in your step. Oh, come on, let a clap be in your heart. That the God is reigning and ruling, and God is going to do something. I don't care what it looks like. God is going to remove a lot of waste. Yes, your, your song is like a river, and it's going to start removing all the waste places. Yes, please. Come on, you got to catch this by the Spirit. He said, sing it to the Lord a new song. How do you think David killed the lion and the bear? Yeah. They probably heard his voice before they got there. Hallelujah. And they didn't think David was going to worth anything. You know, when they come into anoint, they were looking for the king. And, of course, Jesse brings out all the good-looking boys. You know, we bring out all the good-looking talent. I'm, I'm speaking to you this morning. We bring out all the good-looking talent and all the people that know how to play and all the people that has all the giftings and and, and, and and the word is out everywhere. People are copying one another. I can tell you that. I'm not going to say anymore. I can tell that we're doing here what they're doing over there. Every church has a different vision. Yeah. Every church has its own angel or three or four angels. Ooh. God has, he had seven churches. Remember, he spoke to all seven of them. Two of them, he didn't have anything against them. But he spoke to them who they were. And God has got a different plan and vision for every church. Right. And for every person in this room, there's not any two people in here that look alike, sound alike, are going to be in the same order. How many of you know that? No matter how much you try to be like your friends, it just doesn't always work. Because you have an identity. What I'm saying to you, if you all have a song, you have a sound inside of you. The sound of the river that goes straight to the throne of God. Yeah. And he's wanting yeah. to bring that river down. And in that river is everything you need. Woo. Everything. Faith, finances, fun. Start the alphabet. Favor. Yeah. 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 God will tell you what's inside of you. And still, that's not all. So he's looking for a people that's excited about him. Glory to God. Yeah. Praise you, Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. You're so wonderful, Jesus. You're all we've yes, waited for. Come on, tell him. You're all you've waited for. He's looking for us to fall in love with him. You know, look like people that are kind of lost. You know, they're kind of strange. I had some, i got to be careful here. I had.